Welcome to another edition of Ask a Realtor. Phil, what do we have planned today? We're going over the three myths that home buyers have when it comes to home loans. Enjoy. about loans, huh? Let's do this. Hi, welcome to Waterstone Mortgage. Episode 8. We are very excited about today's episode. Phil, what do we have planned right now? We're going over the three myths a lot of home buyers have when it comes to the home loan itself. And these are questions we get literally 15, 20 times a week. What type of credit do I need? Down payment? How's the pre-approval process? So we're going to knock them out right now. And to help us with that is mortgage banker extraordinaire, Mr. Ryan Gilliam. Ryan, say hi to the audience. Hello, everybody. Guys, Ryan has actually been the loan officer for Grosso Realty since the day we started. He's done my loan, my mom's loan, my dad's loan, my cousin's loan, my aunt's loan, and he's actually helped over 1,400 families get their home loans as well. So Ryan, a little bit about yourself, tell everybody. Yeah, I've been in the business since uh, 2004. I uh, work with Waterstone Mortgage here in Gilbert on Bayside and Val Vista. Absolutely love what I do, have a real passion for this job, and, and love working with this Grosso team. Awesome. So to help us with the three biggest home loan myths, we thought it'd be fun to play a game with you, Mr. Banker. Sounds great. We're gonna play myth or that. Okay, so let's start with the biggest home loan myth, number one, credit. We hear it all the time, a lot of people think that they need an 800 credit store to get a home. Ryan, is that a myth or a fact? That is a myth. Yeah, a lot of people think you need a 740 credit score in order to get qualified, and that's just not true anymore. You, you don't have to have perfect credit in order to get into a home. So we have a program here at Waterstone. If you have a 580 credit score, you can still get a mortgage. 580? 580. Wow. So you don't have to be perfect on your credit. And we have a lot of clients that we speak with that are nervous that they're past derogatory credit or even they're below a 580 credit score. So they don't want to move forward with even speaking with us. Um, you know, we want those clients to still contact us because we have a great program called Path to Buy. And with that program, we'll do a full analysis of your credit report. We'll determine what debts you have to pay off, what debts you have to pay down, anything that you might have to dispute to eventually get you qualified. And we'll have a follow-up plan as well just to make sure you're on track. We want, it, we want everybody to have a chance to get it into a home. One down, two to go. All right, myth or fact number two. So we get this a lot. So a lot of people's perception is that they have to have 20% down for their home loan. Is that a myth or a fact? That is a myth as well. So yeah, there's something called the down payment misconception and they actually did a poll and they found that 39% of first time home buyers think that you need at least 15% down to buy a home. And that's just not true anymore. We have programs that you can get into a home with as little as 3% down. And even if you're not a first time home buyer, if you've already bought a home before, or even if you currently own one, if you're buying a home that's gonna be owner occupied, you can get into a home with as little as 5% down. And that's not even the best part. The best part is, those down payment funds don't even have to come from you. It could come from one, a gift from family members, or two, it could come from one of the down payment assistant programs that we have available. So this grant program, when you actually combine it with one of these low down payment options, you can actually get into a home with no money down. And you've actually helped a lot of our clients do that. One of comes to mind is Adam and Angela Cook. Oh, the Cooks, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and they got a home, and I actually think they uh, got zero down on that one which is a fantastic program. I know last year you were, you were able to help 52 families buy a home with zero money down. That's correct, 52 families. Dude, you got their earnest money back. You Absolutely. are a freaking rock star. <laughs> Thank you. And that brings us to the biggest loan myth, number three, the pre-approval process. A lot of people think getting approved for a loan is just, it's just pulling teeth. They're, you're taking blood, you're signing over their firstborn. So yes. myth number three, the pre-approval <laughs> process, is, is it a hard process? Is that a myth or a fact? That is a hard process, that's a myth as well. Yeah, a lot of people think, you know, you have to actually take a day off of work and make copies of all your financial documents that you've ever had and, you know, sit in the, the mortgage bank's office for hours as you're getting everything reviewed. And that's just not true anymore. You know, we, we here at Waterstone, we try to make it as, sim as simple as possible. All you really need to do is just get on the phone and speak with me. It only takes about 10 minutes. And what we do is we actually take an application over the phone. And what an application is, it's simple information. It's, you know, full name, address, 
date of birth, information about your employment, income, and assets. And we do a credit review, and based off of all of that, within 10 to 15 minutes, we can determine how much we can approve you for, and even issue in a pre-approval letter so you can go out and start shopping for homes. See, that's why I love that. I know we've experienced this a lot. You know, maybe you're watching this wanting to start out the home buying process, but how do I get a loan? You realize 10 minutes from ending this video and hitting stop, you could actually be pre-approved for a home loan. Yeah. Another part, too, that I get a lot is when I'm talking to a potential buyer, their biggest fear is, I don't really want to pull my credit just yet. Mm -hmm. If they were to call you for the first time, I know you had mentioned that eventually they would have to, but is that first phone call just strictly like a credit or is there a chance to where you can just go over their loan options? Yeah, no, we don't have to do an application or a credit check. You know, We could just kind of go over all the loan programs we have available, kind of get to know your situation a little bit better and get an idea of what the best path to go is. I actually love that. They could come even sit down here with you in your office. Absolutely. Have a coffee yeah. and just chat about their home Just loan. chat about different options that are available. Yeah, so if you guys want to do a home loan strategy session and get in touch with Ryan, just click the link below. That's literally going to take you to a page where you can contact him directly. It'll let you fill out your information and you and Ryan can have a chat. Whether you guys want to chat over the phone or you want to come meet face-to-face. -face. I enjoy meeting with you face-to-face. Face. This has been fun. Uh, believe it or not, that's actually how I bought my home with Ryan. Was I came in here four years ago. Yeah, we sat years. down. Eight, God, time flies, right? right? Yeah. yeah, we sat down in your office and we chatted on, on strategies. You didn't pull my credit, nothing like that. I just showed up, yeah. and I really wanted to know what's the total down payment, how long is this going to take, what do you need my credit at? Absolutely. And so, if you want to do that, guys, just click that link below and you get right in touch with Ryan. Ryan, any final thoughts for our viewers? Well, if you have any questions or if you just need anything from me, call me anytime. I'm always available here in my office. I'd love to talk with you and meet with you. So Mr. Shaver, another episode in the books, and we just covered the three biggest home loan myths. Now those were not too bad, were they? No, in fact, a couple of things about the episode that I love was buyers over the last 14 years have always been asking us about those three myths, but more importantly, we we're able to introduce them to Ryan Gilliam. Awesome. So if you guys liked today's episode, do us both a huge favor, like this post, post a comment and like our pages. And when you do, you can actually follow the both of us and get in tune for future episodes. Now, speaking of future episodes, if you guys had a question that you wanted on one of these in the future, what could they do to get their question on our show? Just post or comment below. We'll be more than happy to provide the insight, but more importantly, we really appreciate the support. Yeah, we really do. And if you guys actually have any questions or wanted to chat with one of us about your real estate needs, just reach out to us directly. Other than that, thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on episode nine.